When we think of successful scientists, we tend to think of Albert Einstein, Galileo Galilei, Charles Darwin, Stephen Hawking, Niels Bohr, Thomas Edison, and the list goes on. The problem is, our first instinct is to think of a man. I'm certain that everyone in this room is familiar with some, if not all, of the scientists that I have mentioned. Now, how about Marie Curie, Sally Ride, Lise Meitner, Rosalind Franklin, or Rachel Carson? Are any of these names familiar, and do they stand out to you? Even I myself had to look them up, because I was not aware of any successful female scientists. This addresses a huge problem, which is that female scientists lack in recognition. The statistics tell the story quite clearly. 197 males have won the Physiology or Medicine Nobel Prize, while only 11 females have won that award. 168 males have won the Chemistry Nobel Prize, while only four females have won that award. 199 males have won the Physics Nobel Prize, while only two females have won that award. As a female, an aspiring female marine biologist, this issue deeply concerns me because I want to be recognized in the future. Doing that is difficult already regardless of gender. However, I have to face an extra obstacle due to my gender. So how do we raise these numbers? For one, we must stop undermining our abilities. I was once sitting in my integrated science class in ninth grade, and we were discussing bathymetry with my teacher. Bathymetry is the study of underwater depth of lakes and oceans. And so she asks this question. Which instrument is used to measure the depth of the ocean? Right away, I knew the answer. It was a pathometer. I looked at my friend Taiba, and she knew the answer as well. However, we did not raise our hands. We kept them down. Instead, the class clown raised his hand and shouted out a random answer that had nothing to do with the question. As if scripted, the class erupted in roaring laughter. My point is that there is an evident confidence gap between males and females. Evidence shows that women are less confident than men. According to The Atlantic, a group of men and women were given 10 scientific questions to answer. After they were given those questions, they were asked to reflect on how well they think they did. The women thought they scored 5.8 out of 10, while the men thought they scored 7.1 out of 10. Now, if we see how they actually performed, we see that the women scored 7.5 out of 10, while the men scored 7.9 out of 10. Self-perception is very important when it comes to building a future career in science. This is why we, as young women, need to be more confident in our abilities, because it truly gets in the way of our success. A couple of weeks ago, my junior class was called into this room for a cohort session. We were called in to discuss college essays with our college counselor. And so we each receive a pink piece of paper on, on the do's and don'ts of writing a college essay. On the left side, do's was written in big block letters, and on the right side, don'ts was written in the same way. And so, of course, I look at the do's at first. As I was skimming through them, I noticed this. Do write about anything counterintuitive about yourself. And then it gives an example. You are a young woman who is a computer or physics geek. Is that really counterintuitive? Is it now counterintuitive for a young girl to like science and technology? Let me specify the term counterintuitive for you. The word means contrary to intuition or to common sense expectation. So is it not common sense for a girl to like technology and science? Sadly, this is what our society is telling us, so it must be true. Cultural and societal norms have a huge impact on the way that we should think. Although it may sound ridiculous, people are still being raised to think that boys are more successful than girls, especially here in Jordan, my country. I know this because I have seen it with my own eyes, and I have witnessed how unfair women are still being treated until today. However, this does not mean that we have not made progress. We most certainly have. We have made so much progress due to our competence. This is why I want to become a marine biologist, because I know that I can take on the challenges. I can only hope for young women to keep their hands raised when discussing bathymetry. Thank you.